Hey, shalom everyone. This is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and welcome to the Daily Drosh. Today's Daily Drosh is taken from Matthew chapter 8, verse 19. It's a very simple little verse, and it's one that we would usually read and just gloss on over and wouldn't think twice about it. But the other day, I read this verse, and it just struck me. And I seen it, and it hit me in a whole new and entirely different way that I wasn't expecting. And again, it's so simple, you would just pass over it. And, you know, maybe all this hype maybe end up being nothing. You may think, oh, well, still, that's not a big deal. But I think this verse is really significant. It says, then a Torah scholar. Now, we're talking probably a Pharisee, somebody who studied the Torah since he was able to read. It says, a Torah scholar came to him and said, teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Wow. You're thinking, yeah, so what's the big deal? You know, most horse scholars were always asking Yeshua questions and was trying to uh, trap him in his own words and it was trying to uh, um, trap him by making a mistake in, in Torah or in some sort of judgment or rendering some sort of halakhic or Torah decision. And they were always trying to corner him and to get him to flub up or screw up uh, in his words and in his understanding of Torah. And, and they were just always trying to trap him. Or they thought that they were better than Yeshua or that they knew better than Yeshua or that their halakhic way of lifestyle, their way of living out or following the Torah was even better than Yeshua the Messiah's because after all, they didn't conversate with tax collectors and prostitutes. You know, they knew what kind of sinners they were and they stayed far away from them, you know. But it says, then a Torah scholar, he must have been a very humble Torah scholar because a lot of people with education and a lot of learning, they get a big head. They get an inflated ego. It says, then a Torah scholar came to him and said, teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. You know, there's a lot of careers and a lot of professions out there in this world. And if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. That's what that that's the what the saying goes in wrestling, boxing, kickboxing, MMA, all these combat sports. You want to be the best, you got to beat the best. So you study the best, you follow the best, you get mentored by the best. You know, if you want to be an artist, you know, you 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 have somebody who is the best, who you feel and think is the best, who you're impressed with to uh, uh, study under and to train under. You know, a plumber, electrician, a mechanic. Pick any profession, cook. You have your heroes in that field. You think, if I could study or train under anybody in this field, this would be the guy, this would be the gal, because they're the best and I want to be just like them. So just imagine how this Torah scholar, you know, how he must have uh, seen Yeshua, how he must have felt when he said, teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. So in other words, he recognized that Yeshua, not only probably, he probably recognized not only that he was the Messiah, not only that he was a great teacher, a great rabbi, a great Torah scholar, but he probably recognized that Yeshua was the living embodiment and the living manifestation of the written Torah that he studied all his life. And he thought, this guy has it complete. This guy's got it figured out. This guy's got it all together. I want to follow him. I want to live out Torah and obey the Torah and follow the commandments and, and obey and follow the scriptures and live out the scriptures just like this guy. I can't find any mistake or any flaw in his, in his, in his delivery, in his speech, in his, in his conduct. Then a Torah scholar came to him and said, teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Can you say that about Yeshua the Messiah? Will you say that about Yeshua the Messiah? I hope so. And he tested this guy's resolve. He said, Yeshua tells him, hey, the foxes have dens and birds of the airs have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. You know, he basically, uh, he basically said, hey, if you want to follow me, you're not going to be rich. You're not going to be famous. You're not going to be living in the lap of luxury. That's, that's not me. That's not my job. That's not my purpose. That's not my goal. You know? So we, it doesn't say if, if this Torah scholar who said this ended up following him or not. It just kind of leaves the question open and a big question mark. But I just think his statement alone is worth delving into and elaborating on and discussing. Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. 
this Torah scholar said that he recognized that Yeshua not only was the Messiah, but he was the living embodiment of the Torah. Hey, thanks for watching. Shalom, Shavua Tov. Go out there and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the like button as well as the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and the notification bell that'll let you know every time I make a new video. And don't forget to share this with a friend. Also, visit our website at abrahamsdescendants.com. Thanks. Shalom.